Hey guys, good afternoon. Have you seen the Pandora papers yet? Um, they're not showing the papers, they're just doing an analysis of the papers. Kind of started to find, um, you know, those land deeds and powers of attorney and stuff that I found that were forged with my name on them. It seems to be uh, they're using these different areas to hide um, certain properties. I'll just put it that way. Certain money properties. Um, and I'm sure you know what I think those properties actually are. But we're going to look at that. But first I wanted to show you this document I found in the Black Vault, which is... He, I can't remember the guy's name, Steve Greenwald, I think, did a bunch of FOIA requests, Freedom of Information Act requests, and got this document. Now, I wanted to show you something I was looking at. This is an extraterrestrial hypothesis. Um, UFOs, unidentified flying objects, or unexplained phenomena, right? So... This area in Basque country, they don't understand why the language is different, the blood is different, the skeletal structure of the people are different. They, they don't really understand it. And there's been many hypotheses on what it is. But one of the things that they refer to, I, I got a book recently, they refer to ETA a lot. And I found ETA in this um, in this extraterrestrial hypothesis. Some few persons profess to hold a stronger level of belief in the actuality of UFOs being visitors from outer space controlled by intelligent beings rather than merely of the possibility, yet not fully established as an observational fact. We shall call this level of belief ETA for extra extraterrestrial actuality. So when you start to study the Basque country, they say that there are members of e this ETA. They say that this group is, um, you know, I, I don't, I, they say a bunch of different things about ETA. So I saw that. And then again, we got addressing the American Society of Newspaper Editors. Dr. McDonald declared, there is, in my present opinion, no sensible alternative to the utterly shocking hypothesis that the UFOs are extraterrestrial probes from somewhere else. Uh, but when you read this, it, it talks to, it, it, it talks about um, military subjects, experiments, human experiments, um, talks about a, a bunch of things embedded in this in this uh, document so I don't know if this has to do with Basque but I, I'm thinking that what they're doing is they're saying that these um, ancient you know, spawned from ancient life forms need to be studied. So, uh, and then the studies, but, but I still think it has to do with the worth, the actual worth of the blood products. I, I really do think, and the worth of the DNA, because those people aren't, um, they're not subject to the same illnesses or they, they have something in their blood that doesn't, they don't, they, you know, they lack, I don't know if they're, RH null lacks total antigens. So the antigens, like if a virus comes, it can't kind of implant itself because they lack, they lack something. And then they also have an extra DNA strand somehow, an extra gene. Okay, so, um, oh, 
wanted to show you this because it talks about psychological It talks about psychological studies of UFOs. I don't think UFOs are what they're claiming they are. Um, I think there are people. Direct and indirect physical evidence uh, the most direct physical evidence, of course, would be the actual discovery of a flying saucer with or without occupants, living or dead. Mm, that's very weird. A lot of the uh, the real estate documents, you know, the deeds said that um, these people were taking unlawful ownership of all occupants. And they call people who are prisoners of war or with a foreign flag, you know, a vessel with a foreign flag, um, deported from their homeland. They called those people vessels. So I, I think that this is um, how they're getting around. You're, you're just going to have to use your imagination because I, I don't want to say it. You know, has, having to do with uh, reproductive rights and what is inside of the vessel itself, right? So it's a product of a different technology, so it is said, than any known on Earth. And and the only people that I could find on Earth where, you know, they had a lost language. My parents wrote a book called The Lost Language, right? This lost language and the genetic makeup of the people, the blood types of the people, the bone structure of the people was unlike any other human. So it, it, it's either a different branch of humanity or it is a, they think, you know, I mean, the Bible says came from the Nephilim picking humans or angels and then having babies. Now, there's also, you know, there's other, there's other theories about it, but um, some of these theories include aliens. Um, but the thing that's most striking is the Basque country is stateless. Basque country has a language that is not from, it, it, it's not a derivative of, you know, other languages. It doesn't go to France or French or Spain, which are surrounding it. It's its own language. And um, so I think those people are, they're, you know what I think, they're removed from that portion of the world and brought to the UK where they're stripped of financial resources because the UK says they have a non-intervention agreement. But the non-intervention agreement when they come to America includes not having the right to earn money, not having the right to enter into contracts, not, so they're basically oppressing and persecuting the people that they want to study to earn money on those people. So when you look at keeping all of this in mind, when you look at the uh, Pandora Papers and you look at all of the evidence in the Pandora Papers, it's buying property. Remember, collateral was mentioned many times in my documents. Holly Magazine has a uh, collateral material. So, okay, collateral is, I think, human beings. Um. So, let me see if I can. Let me see. 
since all of the bodies of a given make in a given year are usually made with the same molds on the same presses, they are all magnetized in the same pattern. They're talking about forming car bodies. Um, in the case in question, we found that a car body that had been subjected to the presence of the UFO was magnetized. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever tried to put a magnet on yourself? Uh, blood is also magnetized. Um, and uh, the pattern of the magnetization quite closely resembled that of a car of the same make and year and was 4,000 miles away in a used car lot in Boulder, Colorado. Uh, all right, that's weird. But I, I want to find this, not radar sightings. I mean, we know, we know that these people are, are tracked. Um, I'm tracked for some reason. Now, it's not just because I'm a female. It's, there's some other reason that I have been oppressed and persecuted since I was a child. There's some reason they worked on my spine. The people in Basque Country have an extra spinal call, you know, an extra vertebra so they take out that vertebra when you go in you know after being bullied or whatever they take out that vertebra and then stick in it i literally have a hook in my neck you guys have seen it um so they want to study it because they they don't know where it came from now it could just be an offshoot uh they think the the oldest living um I don't know what to call them, humanoids, oldest living, other psychological studies. So, so they're doing modes of conducting psychological and psychiatric research into the UFO phenomenon. The possibility that an experimental UFO might be launched and reports of its sighting study was given serious consideration and rejected on three grounds. Um, but it does talk about experiments and the public might regard itself as having been victimized by what amounted to a hoax. Instrumentation for UFO searches. And they basically talk about UFOs being literally tracked and targeted the whole lives. Now, I know there's many people who are targeted. But I do find this to be very weird, uh, this document. So hang on a second. Again, while returning from a movie at about 9.30 a.m. on Palatine Road, about five miles west of Location X. Location X, again, is the detention. It's called Title X. Title X, X marks the spot of detainees uh, that are going to be used in research for the federal government. X marks the spot. So I do think that this is a coded document, but uh, warrant, you know, they, they do warrants, pretend that you are, you know, a criminal, uh, all of these things that you're not. And I, I mean, they're doing this. I don't know how they're justifying theft of all property and earnings. Um, I don't think that they should be doing that. I, I, I really don't. Hold on. Um, this is what I wanted to show you. It's um, the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists. And um, so they did a big dump called the Pandora Papers, and I did want to show you this, um, something that I found a long time ago. Um, it has politicians, and, oh, this is the one, Dimitrios Dimitriades is associated with um, USC. Uh, as a trauma surgeon. Uh, 